died for sinners because he cares for us. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah who died on the cross. You're a liar, you're a fucking liar. Isaiah 53. Read Isaiah 53. Read your own scripture. You will call God. And we are here because we want you to understand, O Israel. We do not disrespect you. We love you dearly. And you don't have to kick us, my friend. Why did you have to kick us? We're here to tell you the truth. If you don't understand the truth, we can reason with you. You don't have to use force. How would you feel if you come to our country and we spit at your face? We don't do that. Because this is Yeshua's country. This is the Messiah's country. The one who was persecuted here. The one who was persecuted here. The one who was It is given in the Hasarat. Isaiah 53, read it. It says that the suffering servant was crucified. He is Jewish like you guys. He preserves you and he will come back one day. Jesus Christ will come back one day. And he is not coming back crucified, my friends. Jesus Christ is coming back to judge the world. Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who comes why, sir, are we speaking the truth? Jesus Christ, who comes from the, from, the, from, the tribe, from the line of the tribe of Judah, the one who cares for you, the seed of David, the one who is the seed of David, the royal son of God, Ben Dawid, Ben Yehuda, Ben Elohim, the one who is going to come and judge this world. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 that he is the suffering servant. He is the suffering servant. He is the suffering servant. Shut up! Check it! For your soul, my friends. Isaiah 53. He cares for your soul. He became a sacrifice for us. You can call the police, sir. Thank you, thank you. We need police. You can call the police. They will take this young man, we have him on camera. He kicked us, he spit at us, and we did not retaliate. These young men spit at us, they attacked us. And we did not use any violence, just like Jesus Christ. He did not use any violence against any of you. He was led like a sheep to slaughter. Read Isaiah chapter 53. You hate us so much that you are willing to persecute your own Messiah. And he is going to come back into this world to judge every sinner. And you cannot say that I'm a son of Abraham, I'm a son of Isaac or Jacob. Because if you do not have Christ in your life, there is no forgiveness, my friends. Look at what is going on in Jerusalem. There is no high priest. There is no Levitical line. There is no one to atone for your sins. Jesus Christ, who gave us the new covenant, the seed of David, is the high priest. And he is the one who can atone for your sins. Go to the high priest, Jesus Christ. Read the Barit Hadashah. Read the one who was spoken about in the Nabim, in the Ketavim, in the Tanakh. He is clearly revealed, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who was crucified on the cross. And if you die one day and you take your last breath, you will be ushered into Gehenna, heaven or hell. There is no purgatory. There is no second chances. There is a literal afterlife. And every one of you will be judged by Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of God, the one who never ever committed any sin. Please, we care for you. We do not hate you, Israel. We are willing to risk our lives. We are willing to risk our fortunes and our comfort to come and tell you about the Messiah. We are not here to denigrate you. We love the children of Israel. The Bible states in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, Apostle Paul, who was once a murderer, he persecuted the church. He was from the Pharisees. He was one of the most knowledgeable people in the Torah. He knew the Torah. He knew the Tanakh. And he persecuted the Christians. And when he was on the road to Damascus, when he was on the horse, he got converted. Yeshua HaMashiach spoke to him from heaven and asked him, why are you persecuting me? And he got converted. He became a believer of Yeshua.
Yeshua HaMashiach. He became a believer and he spread the gospel message in Jerusalem, in Israel, in Samaria. And he risked his life for you. And that is what we are trying to do. We are telling you about the Messiah, the seed of David, Ben Dawid, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is revealed not only in the Torah, in the Ketavim, in the Nabim, but he's revealed in the Barit Hadashah. He's revealed. And he is coming back, my friends. Just look at the scriptures. Look at the scriptures. The Messiah is clearly revealed. 